my name is Jennifer. Welcome to Spare Time at Home. This class is called Chiseled. Let's get started. So for today's 30 minute chisel class, all you need is a set of medium to light weights and a mat. Our focus will be on strength and endurance. I'm going to keep moving through the workout, not taking a lot of breaks. So at any point you get winded and you need a break, pause the video and jump back in when you're ready. Let's start with our medium to light set of dumbbells. We're going to start with our feet sit bone width apart. Toes pointing forward. We're going to pull those shoulders down and back. We're going to start with a deadlift. Slow, four counts down and four counts up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Down. Pause at the bottom and up slow. Feeling the stretch in the back of the legs, hinging at the hip. And up. Let's speed it up two and two, a little faster. Keeping the weights close to the legs. Head and neck stays aligned. Going hinging down two and up two. Let's do four more just like this. Warming up those legs and back. Two more. Last one like this. We're going to go to a flat back and row. So down, row three, two, and one. Pull it up. Do it again. Left back in row, three, two, pull it up. You have two more sets like this. Really pull those shoulders together behind you. Squeeze that back. One more. Here we go, down three, two, and one. Let's go to an upright row, warming up those shoulders. Up for two, and down. Speed it up, let's go tempo. Singles. Eight more. Eight. Seven, squeeze those shoulders together at the top of the move. Four more. On this last one, you're gonna hold those elbows up, drop the shoulder, drop the elbow, shoulder press. Up for two, and down. Singles right here. Eight more. Separate those feet. We're going to go into a squat. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Sit it back into a squat. Down two, up two. Heavy in those heels. Keeping the chest proud. Two more like this. One more. We're going to go to eight singles. Hopefully you're getting nice and warm. Let's go. It's eight. Seven. Pushing your tailbone to the wall behind you, but stay proud through the chest. Four more. Last two. We're going to add eight more single squats, but add a shoulder press at the top. Hammer grip. Let's go. Here's your final four. Four, three, two, and last one. Bring those weights down. All right, hopefully you're nice and warm. We're gonna go ahead and dive in. We're gonna start with squats. So make sure that your feet are sit bow width apart, maybe a little wider. Pull those toes out just a little bit. Weights come up. Let's start two and two, just focusing on the squat. Hinging back with that tailbone. So, you can take it into that deep knee squat. If you have knee issues, just modify it. Don't go down as far. Here we go, straight to singles. Speeding it up, heavy in the heels. Keep moving. We have eight more, here we go. Eight, seven, six, we're going to add a little dynamic movement today to our exercises. We got two more. On this last one, take it down, hold three counts. Three. No bouncing, just hold it steady. So you stay low into that move. We're going to add a little dynamic movement, getting that heart rate up. We're going to add two little hops at the bottom. Ready? Here we go. Take it to a squat. Down. Hop. Hop. Return. Really soft landing, small range of motion with that hop. 
stay low like you're in a crawl space. You only have four more. Let's go. Down. Hop. Hop. Bring it up. Keep it going. Down. Hop. Here's your last set. We're going to keep moving. We're going to go to a curtsy lunge. Now bring it up. Right leg crosses. Behind the left. And tap. Keep breathing. Two and two. You're starting slow. Then we're gonna go to singles. Make sure you're crossing it over, knee and toe tracks. Here we go, singles, go. Keep it going. Tap and cross. Like I said, that knee should track the second toe. Stay proud through the chest. You have eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Four more. Last two. We're going to add on. So we take it to a curtsy and we go to a squat. Hold and curtsy back to your squat. Now again, we're staying in the basement. We're staying low. Stay low in that squat. How low can you go? We're going to add those two hops back. Ready? So it's curtsy, hop, curtsy, squat, hop, hop. Stay low. You should get your heart rate up. Curtsy, squat. You only got four more. Here we go. Cross, squat, hop, hop. Now if the hop is too much, you could just hold it. You don't need to do the hop. Just hold the squat if it's too much. Here's your last one. We're gonna go with squat with the alternating shoulder. Goes down and reach. Keeping the movement going. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. Adding that little rotation at the top. All right, you got eight more. Eight, seven, working hard today. Four more. Four, three, two, you got one more. We're gonna focus on those shoulders, bring it center. Shoulder press, starting slow, two and two. Don't lock out those shoulders at the top. Keep breathing. If you need a break, pause it, come back when you're ready. 16 singles, here we go. Press. Elbows should be in front at a 45 degree angle. Retracing that line over and over. You got eight more. Here we go. Eight. We got four more, then we're gonna go back to a squat with an alternating shoulder. We can do it. Last one, ready? Squat and alternate the shoulder, squat, shoulder. So, we're gonna go back to the curtsy and work that other side. Let's go low in that squat. You have eight more, eight, seven, six, Four more, four, three, rotate, two, all right, let's go. So it's cross and back. So opposite leg, this leg is the left leg doing the movement now. And tap, making sure the right knee tracks that second toe. Singles, here we go. Tap, tap. Crossing behind that front leg. Keeping the chest proud. Really control the move. Just eight more. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Four more. We're gonna go to that squat with a curtsy. Combo move with a dynamic movement. Are you ready? Last one. Here we go. It's curtsy, squat, hold, hold, stay low. Curtsy, squat. Knees and toes track. How low can you go? Chest stays proud, heart rate's coming up. We're gonna curtsy at two hops this time. Squat, hop, hop. Remember, hop is optional. You can just hold the squat at the bottom. Breathe. Make sure you have a soft landing. I always say land like a cat. Keep it going, four. Three. Two, 
Just one more. Squat with the alternating shoulder. Squat. All right. We're gonna do one more set of shoulders before we move on. Last one. Here we go. Shoulders. Last time. Keep them down your back. Long neck. Two more like this. Here we go, singles. If it's too much, you can alternate it. Here's your option. Alternating the shoulders. Do both if you can. Let's go for that challenge. Your final eight, let's go. Eight, seven, six, Four more. We're gonna transition right into the next move. Remember, max calorie burn today is our focus. Right leg back, we're going to a lunge. Reverse lunge, starting slow. Right leg back, sink it down. As you come down, make sure you're going straight down to the ground with that tailbone, not hinging forward. Slow, we're gonna add a knee up. Down, two, right knee up at the top. Down. Right knee up. Now let's add a bicep curl. Hammer grip. Right knee up at the top. One more. Single it out right here. Speed it up. Down. Down. Staying strong. Try to control those arms. Keeping the elbows into the rib cage. Eight more. I know you can do it. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Four more. Remember, we're gonna add that dynamic movement today. Last one. Sit back, hold that lunge. It goes three, two, one, and up. So we're gonna just add an extra bicep at the bottom of the move. Woo. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's a balance challenge. Ready? Looks like this. Here we go. Bicep, another bicep. Return. Bicep. Bicep, return. So if it's too much with the knee up, you could just take it to a tap. Come on, you guys, we got four more. I know we can do it. Four. Three, don't forget the lunge, good form. Hold it strong at the bottom of the move. Just one more. On this last one, you're gonna hold your knee up. Hold it here. Here's a balance challenge. Option would be toe to the ground or both feet down. We're gonna go to a bicep curl. Try and add that balance challenge if you can. Pull the belly into the spine. Shoulders down, long neck, chin up. Stretch at the bottom. So we wanna avoid the dead spot at the top. Don't go all the way to the top like this. You're resting. There's no resting allowed just yet. 16 singles, go. Breathe. It's too much, alternate it. We're trying to keep moving today. Can you do eight more? Let's go. We're almost there. On that last one, I'm gonna have you hold it at the top, about halfway down. We're gonna add a little more dynamic movement. Last one, bring it halfway. We're gonna go to a kick. Kick, hold it, keep the elbows in. Wrist are straight. Dig out with the heel. Woo, working hard. We're gonna go to alternating kick, and then to the other side, ready? Kick, kick. All right. This is our transition to go to the other side. Let's do eight more, then we're gonna go to a lunge. This time we're gonna go back to the left leg. Starting slow, heading that knee up, then the bicep. Four more, let's go. Four, three, two, last one, bring it down, lunge it back. Down, two, up, tap. Now you can add that knee up. Whew. Down, knee up, ready for the bicep? Hammer curl. Can we go right to singles, right here, let's go. Remember, we're going straight down with that tailbone. Back and up. 
Control the arms, keep the elbows in towards the rib cage. Eight more. Breathe. Four more, we're gonna hold it at the bottom of the lunge. Whew. Get ready. Step back, hold three counts, let's go. Three, two, one. Knee up, remember the knee up's optional. Working hard at that second bicep and pull it up. Join in when you're ready. You only have eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Working hard, you guys. We got four more. I know you can do it. Let's go. Four. Three. Two more. Last one, remember you're gonna hold that left knee up. Let's go to the bicep curl, here we go. Up, two, if it's too much, keep a tap with that toe. Or bring the leg up into that balance challenge. Pull the belly into the spine. Avoid the dead spot at the top. An option would be to have both feet on the floor. Single it out right here, go. Woo. Working hard today. Keep breathing. We're controlling the arms, not letting them rock. Keep them tucked into the ribcage. Here's your final eight. Let's go, eight, seven, six. Can you add that balance challenge? Come on, working hard. Four, three, two, isometric hold. Here we go, left kick right here. Kick, kick. It's a balance challenge, come on. Nice strong core, focus. Kick, kick. We're gonna go to alternating kick. Right here, right now, let's go. Kick, kick. Control those arms, tuck them in. Are they at 90 degree angles? Wrists are straight. Long neck, chest proud. Breathe, just eight more, dig that heel, let's go. Kick like you're pushing something away. Woo. We're almost there, four more. Are you guys ready to move on? We got deadlifts ahead. Three, two, one. Quick transition, good job you guys. Couple deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. So our warm up, we had two feet on the floor. This time it's a single leg deadlift. Let's work that right leg first. So here's some options. Right leg on the ground. You can take that left foot back, just keep a split stance. But most of your weight, 90% of your weight is in this right leg. You're gonna hinge down. Option would be a little bit of a toe tap, 95% of your weight in that front leg, or the full balance challenge, lifting the leg. Here we go. Two and two, we're staying nice and slow, controlled with the move. Now we're not gonna go down quite as far. These single leg deadlifts are tough, and we start to feel them quick. Keeping the weight close to your leg, head and neck line. Remember your option, keep the toe down and still hinge at the hip. Feeling that stretch in that right hamstring. Working hard. Dig deep, you guys got eight more. Let's go. Eight. Woo. Keep it going. It's tough to balance. You need to find a spot that's very helpful. Here we go, dig deep, four more, we got this. Four. Three. Two more. And last one, we're gonna keep this stance. You're gonna just drop that back left leg. All right. Both weights down. We're gonna bring them to the left hand. Keeping the left leg back, right foot forward. Hinge forward. Square up with the shoulders and your hips. Pull that belly in. Take a stretch without rounding your back. We're gonna row right here, right now. Let's go. Up. Two. Let me show you what that looks like from the side. Squeeze the back and stretch at the bottom. Squeeze. Big squeeze for that back. Remember, muscle awareness right here. Let's go to our singles. Go, row, row. Back is a big muscle. We're working it hard today. Squeeze. Good job, we have eight more. Let's go, come on. Eight, seven, six, Four more, you guys ready to add a little dynamic movement? We got this. 
Here we go. Take that row back, hold three counts. Three, two, hold that squeeze. Release, so again, hold. So keep doing this as I model the move. It goes up, little pulse out with the elbow, then back in and down. Row, elbow out, small range of motion. Let's go, eight of these, come on. Release, seven. So if you're uncomfortable with these, just stay with the elbow in and hold it at the top. You got this. We only got four more. These are tough. Four. Three. Two more. Last one. I'm sweating. All right, good job, you guys. Bring it up. Woo. Shake it out. Quick transition. We're gonna keep that heart rate up. Burning lots of calories today as we strength train. Going right into the split stance. Left leg, single leg deadlift. Are you ready? Pull the shoulders down and back. Three, two, one, two and two. Down. Balance challenge or keep that toe on the ground. Remember your option. Split stance. Most of your weight in the front leg. You should be very careful. Just keep a slight bend to the knees. Don't lock them out. Woo. Keep it going. Two and two. I always have one side that's a little easier to balance on. I think that's the case for everybody. Come on. Pull that belly in, keep the head and neck aligned, weights close to your legs. You got it, more. Let's go, if you feel like you're gonna fall over, just keep your toe down. Helps, you're still working that hamstring and lower back. Woo, keep going. Tipping that tailbone to the ceiling as you come down. You got this, you only got four more. Let's go, four. Three. Two. And one more, you guys ready? Let's work that back. Keep your stance the same, just drop that right heel, hinging forward. Both weights go to the right hand this time. Little support here with the left hand on the knee. Stretch without rounding. Let me take it from the side so you can see my form. Belly's in. Just two and two, basic row. Elbow goes back, squeeze up, back at the top. Starting slow, focusing on our form. Good job. We're going to those singles. Here we go. It's row. Row. Squeeze, stretch, squeeze, stretch. Working hard today. You're doing it. Can you do eight more? Let's go. Eight, seven, six. Just four more, then we're going to that dynamic movement. You know what's next. Keep it going, two more, get ready. Here we go, hold it up, three counts, let's go, hold. Woo, sweating here. <laughs> three, two, can you pop that elbow out? It's a small range of motion. Keep squeezing that back each and every time. So it goes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's do eight more. Eight. Stretch, seven. Again. Breathe. Four more, then we're gonna move on. I know you guys can do it. Let's go. Four. Three. Just two more. And your last one. Good job, you guys. Bring it up. So, we're taking it to the floor now. So if you have a mat, or if you're on carpet, grab a towel. So we're gonna be laying flat on the ground. We're gonna be working our glutes chest, triceps, and abs for the last eight to 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and grab your mat. Drop it to the floor, same weights, right? If you have a little heavier set of dumbbells, you can always grab the heavier set for chest. You'll need the lighter set for your triceps. Let's go ahead and lay it back. It's important when you come down that your feet are sit bone width apart, not too wide with the stance. Sit bone width, sit bone width, sorry. Align the knees, ankles, knees, and hips, right? Bring it back. Laying all the way down. Heels, feet are, legs are like a 90 degree angle. The weights are not on the joint. They're gonna start below the hips. Resting your shoulders on the mat. We're just gonna come up into a bridge, nice and slow. Up, two, and down. 
So you're just gonna bridge up and down at this pace, two and two. I'm gonna hold my move at the top as you keep moving. I want you to see the line my body's in. You're a straight line from my knees to my shoulders. Let's go to singles, up. So if it's too much in a full bridge, you can always do a half bridge. Otherwise, full range of motion, drive those hips to the ceiling. Weights on the heels. The pressure is not on your neck. It should be on your shoulders. You got eight more. Here we go. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Big squeeze for challenge. You don't have to go all the way to the mat each and every time. Halfway down is fine. Four. Three. Get ready. Hold that bridge at the top. Have a good grip on those weights, right? We're going to bring it up. We're going to go out to a chest press position, holding that bridge. So if it's too much, you can go to a half bridge or you can just go flat to the mat. You pick what's right for you. Here we go. Chest press, up for two, making sure you're not locking out those elbows at the top. Nice and controlled, retracing that line over and over, over the chest, not over your chin. Squeeze, can you get that bridge up just a little higher? Let's go. Singles, up, up, press. Elbows should be lower than the shoulders as you come down, never resting on the floor. Can you get that bridge up just a little higher? Eight more, let's go, let's go. Eight, seven, we're almost there. Squeeze those glutes. Four, three, get ready for that dynamic movement. Here we go, we're gonna take it up. Hold the chest, you're gonna drop the hips, and then you're gonna bring it up to a bridge, and then reverse the chest press. So you go up to your chest press, hold, drop your bridge halfway, drop those hips back up and reverse the chest press. Ready, let's go. It's up, down, bridge, return. Up, down, bridge, return. Up, really control it. Come on, muscle awareness. We're working those glutes and chest. Come on, up, squeeze. Just two more, I know you can do it. Here's your last one. All right, bring it down. We're gonna set one way down. Oh, sweating. <laughs> We're gonna bring our legs to tabletop. We're gonna have the weight in our right hand. We're gonna work that right tricep. So, knees are over the hips, not over your belly. Squeeze the knees together. Legs should be a 90 degree angle. Holding the weight carefully, pin your right shoulder into the mat. You can either use this left hand for support or you can go palm down to the mat, whatever works for you. Let's start slow to get that form down first. Down, slow, slow about a 90 degree angle, aiming towards the shoulder. Don't let the elbow move from this position as it as you come down, then back up. Let's go to two and two right here, ready? Let's go. Down, two, and up. Down, two, and up. We're almost there. You know what's next. We have singles. Here we go. Down, watch those knees. Don't let them creep over the belly. Control that elbow. Keep it right in front. Use your left hand if you need to. Watch that form. Can you do eight more? Eight. Seven. Six, four more, we're almost there. Four, you guys ready to add on? We're gonna go to the abs now with the tricep, ready? Starting slow, legs come off, tricep, and reach towards the shoelaces. So I'm gonna bring my right palm, my left palm to the mat. So you can keep it on your elbow or bring it down to the mat, whatever works for you. Can you do four more slow like this? So it's a tricep at the bottom, Lift with the shoulders towards the shoelaces with the weight. And reach, two more. Keep breathing. Make sure you're not holding your breath because we got singles right here, right now. Let's go, speed it up. If this is too fast, go at your own pace. Reach, reach. Just eight more, eight. Seven, six, four more, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Uh, legs down. 
we're just gonna switch arms. So we're gonna go to the left tricep and this is gonna wrap up our workout today. So we're gonna go back to tabletop. Hammer grip, watch that elbow. Two and two, down. Two and up. Retracing that line over and over again, using that right hand for support if you need to. Keeping the elbow right in front of that shoulder. Pull that belly in, squeeze the thighs together, go down, singles. We're almost there, with the tail end, don't give up now. Can you do eight more? This is your final eight. Keep it going. Four more like this. Four. Get ready for those abs. Bring the legs straight up to the ceiling. Here we go. So it's down, two, add that crunch at the top. Shoulders up. As you come up, think about bringing your hips and rib cage together, like you're trying to touch them. Squeeze, not just lifting with the neck. Ready? Singles, go. This is it. Looking hard. We got this. We're at the tail end. Big reach. Good job, you guys. Woo, what a, that was a great workout. We're gonna go ahead and stretch while we're here. So go ahead and lengthen the body, go into that natural resting position. Just reach long through those arms, long through toes, just elongate your body. Couple deep breaths. We're gonna start by just bringing that right leg in towards the chest, pull it in, and just hold it there. Focusing on your breath, breathing in through your nose, and out through your mouth. One more deep breath. And exhale. Let's go ahead and we're gonna rotate, bring this knee, right knee over to the left side. Your goal is to kind of push it towards the ground. You're gonna extend the right arm, palm up, look over towards that palm, push the knee into the ground and feel that stretch. Just hold it there. Couple deep breaths. Let's go back. This time we're gonna bring the same leg and in front of that supporting knee. Let's go ahead and reach back, grab hold of that left leg and relax your shoulders and your neck on the ground, dropping the right hip out and stretching through that hip. Pull it in just a little closer. Good job. One more deep breath. And let's go back to that natural resting position. Big inhale here. Exhale, bring the opposite knee in. This time, left knee comes in towards the chest. Just hold it here. Big stretch. We're gonna bring this knee down over to the right side and extend the left arm, palm out, and look towards the left palm. Pushing your knee to the ground. Let's take it back to our back again. Left leg in front of that supporting knee and pull it in, dropping the left knee and taking that nice stretch in through the hip. Let's put our knees together. We're just gonna go into a spinal rock, rocking up and down a couple times. On this last one, let's bring it all the way up. Weight onto our feet. And we're gonna just come up slow, stretching the back as we come up to the standing position. Bring it back to center. Let's go to a big shoulder roll here. Reverse the shoulder roll. Bring him back and keep him back this time. Stay long through the neck, chest proud. Woo. I wanna kill myself here at the end. Reach across, let's press into that right shoulder. Always gotta be aware of your surroundings. Bring that arm up, let's stretch that tricep. I really appreciate you guys tuning in today. It's really important that we find time to get these workouts in. I think that it will make you feel so much better for the rest of your day. Let's do the other side. And last stretch, left shoulder. I really look forward to the gyms opening it up so I can see you in my class soon. Thanks for joining me today. Let's take a big inhale and exhale. 
Have a great day. Thanks for joining me.